What's up, brothers and sisters in Christ? I hope you all are having such a blessed day today, and may the joy of the Lord be our strength. Uh, I want to share this baptism from our brother in Christ, Big Nick, who has such an amazing, amazing testimony. He was Hindu, uh, but the Lord saved him, set him free from the life that he used to live. And uh, this is a great parallel just to remind us that the Word of God is so alive, guys. It's so alive, it's so real, and it's so life transforming. Um, and how is it parallel? Well, we know that uh, unless you're born again, you'll never enter the kingdom of God. You can read John 3, 3 through 5. Jesus is speaking to Nicodemus, and he's, he's sharing to a religious leader who grew up in the scriptures, right? In, day in and day out, he knew the scriptures of God. Yet he was not yet born again, filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, yet also born of water too, right? Baptized in the name of Jesus. As Acts 2.38 declares, when the Spirit of God was promised and poured out into the 120 believers who were gathering together in prayer uh, in the upper room. And then Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost and preached the gospel. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, and the good news that we can be forgiven of our sin and washed and cleansed, right? Well, we know in Acts 10, a man named Cornelius, who was the first of the Gentile believers, which Gentile just means non-Jew, who was filled with the Holy Spirit. And the, the amazing thing was that they um, were filled with the Holy Ghost first. All of the household of Cornelius. He was a centurion, uh, meaning he had a hundred soldiers underneath of him that he was in charge of. And now Nick, he already had the, the baptism, baptism of the Holy Spirit. He was already filled with the Holy Spirit. And I was just with him in Dallas. If you saw uh, yesterday's live stream, it was awesome. We went to Upper Room. Wow, and it was just amazing. Uh, the Spirit of God totally filled us, refreshed us, and I was just so thankful. Well, he wanted to get baptized in the name of Jesus, fully submerged in water, right? And uh, so we, we did that, and just like Acts 10, Cornelius. So I'm going to share this footage with you guys, and yeah, God bless you all. Woo. So man, Nate, Ain't you've never been fully it. submerged underwater. I never got the underwater one. He's already filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, sir. Speaking yes, in sir. tongue. Yes, and sir. Yes, sir. Ah, you're preaching. But today is the day in which we were just talking. We were we were in Acts 2, and you know, Acts 2 38, when Peter and the 120 were filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, they they said, realized when they pierced their Messiah, what do we do? What, what, what must we do? Acts 2 38 says, repent, turn to God, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, yep. and then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But we yep. know in Acts 10, the Gentiles, when they were filled, Cornelius, he first got filled with the Holy Ghost and then was commanded to go be baptized in the name of the Lord. And that's what my man, Big Nick's Let's doing. Let's get it, bro. Let's do it, man. All right. Cool. So, Woo! I'm, I'm excited, bro. <laughs> Nick, you already professed Jesus as Lord, my bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're just ready to get dunked. I'm just ready to get dunked, bro. All right. Let's do it. So, okay. do you repent yeah. of all your sins? Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins, Lord. I repent in your mighty name, Lord. You're ready to bury all the sin underneath this water and all be washed? Them, bro. All of them, I'm done with sin, man. You're a new creature, huh? I'm out of this matrix. <laughs> there it is, man. Let's go, bro. Well, these are the end times, and God used him to come out with an album, End of Times. Thank you, Lord. Um, Thank you, Jesus. It was glorious. Man, the Lord is good, man. Let's get it, bro. Let's pray for us. All right, cool. Lord, I just thank you for my brother. I thank you. Where Christ is lifted up, you draw men unto you. Yes. God, we're, we're in the middle of uh, the apartment uh, pool right, complex right now, and we just thank you that no matter where we are, Lord, you are with us. You're yes. for us, God, and you honor every step of obedience. And Lord, your word says, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. And we thank you, God, thank you, that God. this is the blood covenant in which yes. today Nick is entering. He's already filled with your spirit, but today he's obeying the rest of your words. Lord. Yes, yes. And we just thank you. We glorify thank you. you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So, okay, you hold your nose. Yeah, yeah. Comfortable? I can breathe. I can breathe. Okay. Yeah. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Let's Father, go, bro. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, man. Let's go, baby. We a new creation, baby. New <laughs> man. Go, baby. Woo. That was awesome, bro. Man. It was, my, it was my, my, my plan right now, bro, to boldly proclaim the word. And God set me free, man. Broke every chain. Every single chain. You were praying. Say that thing about praying before dinner. What was and it? I would, I would pray before dinner. But, you know, from my culture, you know, we, we were raised 
um, to follow Christ. We were, were raised to follow false gods. Mm. And, and every family dinner, we do a prayer to a false god. Right. So we were actually casting a spell without even knowing and inviting a demon in every night for years, bro. Mm. For years, man. And, and, I, Christ. I, and, and, and the Holy Spirit, it, it made me realize that, bro. I was literally under a witchcraft spell. Mm. And I didn't even know it. I was a kid, bro. But Jesus. God is good, man. God is really good, man. So let's take a look at the Word of God today in Acts 10, starting at verse 44, going down to 48. All right, this is Cornelius. When, when Peter finally came and delivered the Word of God, the, the gospel, the good news, and uh, we're going to start right here, verse 44, so if you guys want to follow on, do so. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the Word. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had also been poured out on the Gentiles too. Praise God. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. That was the clue that they heard. They, they saw these people being filled with the Holy Ghost because they heard them speak in other tongues and magnify God. Then Peter an answered right after that, after they got the Holy Spirit, Can anyone forbid water that these should not be baptized who have also received the Holy Spirit, just as we have. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then they asked him to stay for a few days. So they were commanded to be baptized after they received the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, because there's only one Lord, one spirit, one faith, and one baptism. So it was just such an amazing, amazing time in Dallas. Uh, the Holy Spirit was just poured upon us. We, we were praying in the Spirit. Uh, we had an amazing time in worship in Upper Room. And I'm just so thankful. God bless you, Brother Nick, if you're watching this video. He came out with a new gospel album. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But yeah, I was just so thankful to God that he wanted to obey the scriptures and continue to get fully submerged in water in the name of the Lord. God bless you all.